Hello everybody, my name is Mike Guy, and in this video we are going to be looking at using transparency with our bitmaps in Allegro 5. I'm going to start with some code that looks familiar here. I have my Allegro image.h header file, um, just some width and height. I'm creating an Allegro bitmap, and then I just have some generic input just to close down the screen and just flipping the display and clearing the background color. So nothing really all that spectacular to start off. What I want to do is I want to show you two different ways that we can use uh, transparency in Allegro 5. And by transparency I mean not drawing the backgrounds of our bitmap images. So if I were to have uh, an image of a fighter character or a warrior or a wizard or whatever on, uh, on a square bitmap and I were to say set my, my background to a specific color, I could tell uh, Lego not to draw that specific color. So all we see is the image uh, that, that we have created. I'm going to show you that here now. So first what I want to do is I want to show you what the image looks like before I use transparency. Now I have put an, a bitmap image inside my project folder. Uh, the bitmap image is one I got from, the image is one I've got from this really cool site uh, Reiner's Tilesets.de. Uh, it just has a bunch of these uh, different sprites and, and whatnot there, and I'm, I just grabbed one from there to use real quick here inside this video. So what I want to do is I want to do image equals al load bitmap. Like I said, this was already in my project folder, and the the name of it was well, probably add quotes. Name of it is flygtw000. 0.bmp and I'm just loading that into uh, into my bitmap here and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to call now draw bitmap draw image I'm just going to do 200 100 with no flags Great. and this right now is just to show you what this guy looks like without uh, any transparency whatsoever. So you can see it's this kind of bluish dragon with this brown background. Alright, so our goal is to get rid of this brown background so that uh, so in our game we don't see it and we just see this nice, nice neat uh, blue dragon. Alright. Now using Photoshop uh, I loaded up that image and I checked the color of that background and that background is 106 76 48 and it's that weird brownish background. So there is a function that uh, Allegro has called AL convert mask to alpha. And essentially what that does is it converts what you would call a mask color. Uh, in our instance that's that background into an alpha channel. Uh, and what an alpha channel means is whether it's completely opaque or completely not opaque. So completely uh, seeable or completely uh, invisible. Uh, and so in the case of using this function we're going to turn our mask color, our background color, into a completely invisible uh, background. And so you'll see here we'll do that. I'm going to do AL convert mask to alpha. And it's going to ask me for my image. I'm going to pass it image. And it's going to ask me for the color map, uh, that, or the color mask that we're going to use. So it's AL map RGB. You may have heard me talk in the past how 255, 0, 255 is kind of a standard for transparency. A lot of sprites you're going to find are going to have 255, 0, 255 as the background color, and so it's just one you can easily remember how to get rid of. But in this case, it is 106, 76, 48. Alright, so that's it. That, that, that's the only function I'm calling here. That's the only difference uh, between the, the two times I'm going to run it. Um, and what this does is it loads our image and then it obliterates that background, turns it transparent. I'm not modifying my draw function at all, and we're going to run this. And look at that. Perfect. So we've got our, our dragon, and the background has been completely removed. Uh, you would never even know there was one. Alright, so, like I said before, I'm going to show you two ways to do transparency. And that was the first way. The second way is a, a really neat way uh, of doing this, and it gives us a lot of control uh, over our games. And that is to load an image that already has alpha in it. Uh, so if I were to say, create a PNG file, uh, and that PNG, PNG file automatically had a transparent background, uh, 
when I load it into Allegro here, it, it will have a transparent background in Allegro. And now that is, that's actually a very powerful feature because what that allows us to do is things like shadows where it's partial uh, transparency, right? Uh, on our, with that weird brown color, as the, the shadow faded out, it faded from black to brown. So the black would be visible, the black brown would be visible, the, the little bit of black mostly brown would be visible. It would only turn invisible once it was all that brown color. So we couldn't really do shadows very easily. Shadows were very difficult. Uh, blending was very difficult. Um, and so loading up a, a PNG that has that transparent background already is just a really cool feature. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. Uh, we're clearing our background to black. I'm going to clear it to white. I'm doing this because I have a shadow in my image and I want it to look good. All right. So my image. Uh, now don't uh, don't make fun of me here. My image is just some cra crappy little image. I opened up Photoshop, made a blue squiggly line, applied two filters, added a drop shadow, and was like, all right, great. I didn't want to take too much time with it. So I named it weird.png. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and remove this. We don't need to convert mask to alpha because there is no background. I left the background transparent. The image in and of itself has a transparency layer, an alpha layer. Um, and so there is no background to it. And now I'm just going to go ahead and run this. I'm just still just drawing it at the same spot. And here we go. Like I said, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a silly little weird little squiggly line. But I do want to point out that you know, the, the image looks great, and check out this shadow. Traditionally in 2D games, that was very hard to do without allowing for alpha layers, all right? So you guys, you, you really get to, to act such an easy access and such a really cool feature. We get this nice blended background here. And just so you don't, I don't want you thinking that I just made this image with a white background uh, to, to cheat. Let's go ahead and change our background again. So let's do, um, 100, 100, 100, a gray color. All right, and we'll run it. And look at that. Still perfectly blended shadow into the gray. That is the power of our alpha channel that, that images or image formats like PNG give us. All right, so those are the two ways to do transparency in Allegro. And so far, it's just kind of like Big Wolf, you know, we got some transparency. Uh, but when we start doing animation, it's going to look really cool. Uh, so stay tuned, that is coming up in the next video.